Wichita State University hasn't had a football program since 1986. The football program was discontinued due to constantly losing money and no one showing up to the games. Thankfully, Sherlock Tanner is here, and I can also assume it didn't help they absolutely sucked as a football team. They were never ranked in the AP poll, had over 80 more losses than wins all time, and went 0-3 in bowl games. Luckily for them, they finally found a rich donor, Billy Cash, who decided to revive this dead football program back into Division I college football. In need of a new head coach, the hair coach Hugo Huffer, who's climbed the Great Wall of China and believes he could turn this program into a dominant force. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, due to this program just being restarted, the team is going to start out at a 50 overall and end the American Athletic Conference. We also can't recruit 4-star kids until we reach 8 wins, and can't recruit 5-star recruits until we reach 10 wins. And finally, once we win the American, we will move up to the Big 12 Conference. Even with all these challenges, Coach Huffer remains confident he can revive this program and win them a national title. The team is incredibly awful. Stevie Wonder could probably walk on and have a spot. It will be a very long season. A surprise to no one at all. Winless to start. Just one close game to an FCS school. Every other one was us collecting a paycheck to get embarrassed on the field. Can't be too mad. There's way worse ways to make money. Now we're staying home to play the Red Ponies. We have 11 kids coming for the game. Think we'll bribe the officials to make it a running clock. That should help us out. Getting clapped down 17 in the second quarter. Not nah, good. They run some run thingy. Nice tackle there. And they pitch it. Oh boy. Get the angle. Catch him. Come on. Come on. Well, he had too much fight for us. Don't like to see that. We're hanging around. One of the officials owes coach a favor. That's helped out the cause. We sit back and rival it to the end zone. He's open and we catch it. Nice job, Howard Luke. We're on life support. Someone get a turnover. I promise we'll compensate you with a golden retriever. Who doesn't love puppy? They hand it off. Not like a good, yeah, puppies for no one. We walk off in shame. Good thing is we're all self-aware and know we suck. The running clock was effective. Had three kids come on their visits. Each of you are very smart humans. Great decision. Just like Marley and me, this was expected. Still doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just no signs of life anywhere whatsoever. Would have liked to you know maybe one close game, but that was a pipe dream. Yikes! Three kids transferring. They must not like stepbrothers. Yeah, in that case, we don't need them. A gigantic amount of kids graduated. Not the end of the world. They all sucked. Everyone was a walk-on. We were hoping for some Rudies. That didn't happen. Picking up two kids out of the portal. Jeremiah about and also, ooh, I like this. Jair Brown's good at football. We'll gladly welcome him to Wichita. Signing days arrived, and it wasn't exactly a star studded event, but most of these kids will still have a shot at playing time. Especially Brock Bloom and Shy Daniels. They'll probably both be instant starters on this horrid roster. Not bad, not bad at all. 63rd class in the nation. We will take it. The team still sucks, especially on defense. We have like an entire defense of walk ads. Except for the corner spot, we got Jair Brown. He's our version of John Wick. He can take care of himself. It's everyone else I'm worried about. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. Somehow three and four, the 47 overall defense, man. That's disgusting. Two close wins over FCS schools. I mean, we're a lot more competitive this year. That's encouraging. We also beat Tulsa. They have to be ashamed. Hot start in the trail. Out away, Coach Huffer. Impressive stuff I'm seeing here. This is definitely happiness. Woo! More fun playing the Pretty Jackets at home. And we have five kids come for the game. Made sure this is the same weekend as the Rihanna concert that's in town. Chestnut checkers, baby. At the one yard line. Loving this. Good job, guys. We give it to Zach Martin. He cuts inside and fights it there for a touchdown. Well, uh, now we're down 10. That's disappointing. They drop back in the pocket and launch it deep down the field. Come on, defense. Let's just get the halftime. You can't be serious. Yeah, that really just happened, man. We're getting body bags. Started hot. Just couldn't maintain the flame, sadly. They have a receiver wide open. Yeah, we're not even close. That kid's gonna score a touchdown. Get the buses warmed up. This one's over. They're celebrating on our turf. Having a good time. Just an awful feeling. Only compares to the 2016 Michigan-Ohio State game. JT was short. Lost the rest of our games. I still consider it a miracle we won three games. I mean, I won't complain. Of course, every game was a blowout. We got bent over left and right. Just no fight, but can't be surprised. We had a defense full of Kevin Malone's. Well, Cornelius Melvin. Love the name, but unfortunately, you're betraying us. Not too many guys graduating. None of you were good at football. Hopefully one of you becomes a famous singer like Drake. That would be great for recruiting. Love to see this. Two more transfers coming in. One of them is very good at football. Ty and Clark, we will gladly welcome you to Kansas. Well, you're missing out, Clint. Have fun. Maybe he's going to culinary school. I mean, someone has to replace Gordon Ramsay someday. Even with Kansas being in the tornado alley, kids still want to come play here. Coach is a bunker, though, if any of you ever feel in danger. No chance I don't butcher this. Jamarcus Awuchukwu will be one of the first ones allowed in the bunker. As well as Mike Williams and Justice Taylor, we really need a defense, they should help us out instantly. 108th class in the country, the rankings don't see what I see. Man, that would be a cool feeling. Like Nostradamus or Bob Ivanka singing in the future? Oh man, I can only wish. Hard for us not to improve, especially on defense. We had Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn out there. It wasn't a good sight to see. So glad we have our Captain Jack Sparrow for the future. Jason McNulty, he's from Washington. His cousins of the WWE, we like him a lot here. We also have Bennett Galloway as our running back of the future in the same backfield. He once saw squirrels make love in a bird's nest. He's seen it all. Another hot start for us this season. Love it. Three and one. So beautiful. I mean, two of our wins were FCS schools, but in our defense, they thought they could beat us, Shackers, which is apparently a big, bad, muscle-bound bundle of wheat. What an underwhelming mascot. For week six, we're staying home against South Florida. Hopefully, tornado sirens go off. That should scare them. Would also be a good test for the recruits coming to campus. Great way to separate the men from the boys. The sirens are ineffective so far, but it is early. McNulty takes the snap. It keeps it. Oh, boy, there's a huge hole. Jason's gonna sprint through it. Nice job, Jason. Battling back. Really need the defense to clamp down here. Come on, guys. The quarterback sits back and lays it to the left side. Oh, boy. Why 
wide open. He needs a fast boy, too. He's going to score, isn't he? Yeah, man, that's depression. Good God, this went south quickly. Our only chance is planting PEDs in their locker room at this point. Their quarterback is running around like a wild mongoose. We missed the tackle. Great job, Tanner. Man, we're slow. No one is in his sight. He's going to score a touchdown. That's rough. I mean, I guess the bright side is I heard a Krispy Kreme is opening up nearby. That's a plus. Of course, who doesn't love donuts? Had seven guys commit after we got blasted. They want to help turn things around. They're nice people. Fell off a cliff once again. Now three and six. Yep, every game was a loss. That's great. I mean, the only team that's been worse than us in our conference is Navy, so we better win. Jason drove us down the field. Just need to punch it in. We run an inside zone. It's just no defense. That's too easy. Good job, Zach. Only six seconds left in the second quarter. Gotta be tactical here. We take the snap and sit patiently. Then hit a wide open receiver on the slant. It's just a Kimber to get us a two touchdown lead. Everyone uses protection. This is all this is right here. Just trying to make it a three score lead. And yep, that's exactly what happens. Kiss this one goodbye. One by ten. We can at least say this year we weren't the worst than the American. And Zach Martin was a big help today. He has dreads. Makes Tanner jealous. Got the weenie our last two games. They just weren't close. So we finished four and eight. Still horrible, but progress is progress. Bigger graduating class. Sadly, all of you only knew how to lose. Maybe you'll have better luck with other things in life. You're all due to win at something. This is good. This is good. If a kid is ever scared of the tornadoes, we just have them watch The Wizard of Oz. If Dorothy can survive, so can all of you. Man, we're excited to have Zach Fultz in Wichita. No other school went after him. They're lost. Same thing with Gabriel Anderson. Maybe they both have pet snakes and it scared off other teams. That would make sense. Another class litter with underrated three-star gems. Coach Huffer is proud of what we're building here. There hasn't been good results yet, but we remain confident. You know, it's not a roster to gloat about at your uncle's cookout, but there are definitely some strides being made. Jason's back at the helm. Whenever I hear the name Jason, I always think about that scary guy with the hockey mask. Ask. Really hope he isn't real. There we go. Another hot start. We just got to make sure we don't crash and burn like always. Won our first four games. Good to see. Then lost to the Green Bulls week six in our last game. This should be fun. At home playing SMU. And of course, we have kids coming in for the game. They're excited. We're excited. It's like Matt Stoney at an all you can eat buffet. Down seven late in the game. We got to get a stab here. Defense. They know it's vital. Let's make it happen. They hand it off and have Elena. Oh, someone, please. He runs and sends one of us into early retirement. We managed to bring him down, but the game's over now, man. They're jumping around celebrating. Just an awful feeling. Today was supposed to be a good day. Well, we've won more games than we did last year, so that's a plus. Just need one more win for bowl eligibility. Lost, what is that? Math, Tanner, math. I think that's six games in a row, then finally beat North Texas. Talk about a brutal two months. Yikes. This is for bowl eligibility, boys. No excuses. We need a win. Have no fear. Be the hammer, not the nail. Hey, you know what? Down four, but we're driving at the goal line. It could be worse. Jason hands it off to Bennett. He cuts it back, bounces off a blocker, and he keeps fine into the end zone. Just a determined young man. Nikola Tesla would be proud. Keeping it close. Jason is feeling good. He rolls out to his right. Look at downfield. He sits surveying and corks a deep. Gosh, that's scary. What the popsicles? He caught it. Jayla Jones. I don't know what just happened, but it was cool. All comes down to a nice field goal. Have no fear. Just think of the, oh, it's up and it's good. Let's go. The team is skipping off the field with joy. Looking like Tanner before eating a beatball sub. No bowl game for us. Probably because of the two FCS wins, but we'll still say it's a conspiracy. Oh, Billy Boy's transferring. Not happy about that at all. We will miss you. Barely anyone is graduating. Only seven humans. Wish you all the best. Try to stay away from relieves with three kids. It might be poison ivy. It's very itchy. Absolutely loaded haul. Coach Hugh hasn't been this excited since he read a fake tweet saying Tupac is still alive. He's ecstatic. I mean, Corey Crawford, stud. Joshua Butler, stud. JT Johnson, stud. It's a happy day. Keep in the snooze button in these recruiting classes. It gives the kids a chip on their shoulders and adds fuel to the fire. Finally, a roster you can look at and be proud of. Kind of like looking at a frozen pizza you just got out of the oven. Jason's back for us. He's been loving it here. It's an everybody love everybody environment. Just great to be a part of. Sharing the backfield with him once again is no other than Bennett. It's his senior year. He wants to finally be a bowl team and not suck. Love where his head's at. Looky what we have here. Four-year outlook. They think we'll suck again this year, then be a top 20 program for the future. That's very encouraging. Booyah! 5-1. ASMR at its finest. Love to see it. All their wins were down, except for the one loss against South Florida again. Man, we need to get someone to transfer there and get some inside information. Some more awesomeness. Six kids are already committed to the Shockers. Really good start for us on the trail. Heading on the road to play Memphis. They're ranked, but we beat them last year. We're feeling good. Defensive slugfest so far, but we're looking to tie it up here. Jason is a fakey thing. No clue what that is. Who cares? Touchdown over the middle to Jair Brown. Whoa, he's playing both ways. That's cool. Tie game now in the third. We're trading shots left and right. Jason steps up and breaks his sack. Get off him. He throws in the end zone. He's open. That's a touchdown. Tim died. Nice job, Jason. You stud. Okay, field goal here. We take the late lead. No pressure. Close your eyes and kick. Pull Jordan. That would be cool. It's up and yeah, that baby's going through. We're going to take a lead. The defense better not choke. Nothing stupid here. Let's just get out of here with a dub. They launch a deep. No clue who he's throwing to. He must be colorblind. Not a deal for a quarterback. We get over there and it falls to complete to finally win this one. Jason played great. He's been a stud for us. Just an awesome day today. Whoa, this is cool. Nine and one and we're ranked 14th in the country. Lots of positive news. This is happiness. Haven't lost since we went on the road to play those green bulls. Had some close wins, but our team has been resilient. Lead season top 25 matchup against the colorful Owls at home. And of course, Coach Huffer's got kids coming for the game. They see where this program's headed. Down at the goal line, Jason said if we won today, the Krispy Kreme is on him. I'm expecting a dub. He sits back and rubs it over the middle to Anton Shell for an easy peasy touchdown. Still got ourselves a lead up for it midfield. Jason with great presence in the pocket. Hits
against him, Dying Stride. That's cool. That rhymes. He keeps running. He really wants a tight shot. They try to bring him down, but he's too big and strong. He had his Wheaties that we laced with PEDs this morning. That's a touchdown, baby. Less than 30 seconds left in the game. We're up seven and oozing with confidence. They read some weird screen thingy. We pick it off. Oh, yeah, Jair Brown, you stud muffin. Name a stake after him. He deserves it. This one is over. The team is loving it. Such great vibes. Everyone's happy. Such a great day. Beat North Texas to finish 11 and 1. It's so beautiful. If it wasn't for the stupid Green Bulls, man. It's the American Conference title. We're playing too lane. Do not be scared, man. We got this. Tied early on at the goal line. Jason is in command. He sits like a patient duckling in the pocket. Hits Gabriel Anderson on the right side for a touchdown to get an early lead. Spanking the green wave so far. Love it. Another touchdown here would be awesomeness. Bennett takes the handoff, cuts it back, and sprints through. He won't be denied his touchdown. Bennett is an angry man. What a defensive performance today. Let's just get a first down and say hasta la vista to the wave. We hand off to Bennett again, and he gets the corner. Oh, boy, is he in the clear? Yes, he is. It won't matter. He's slower than a snail. Foot speed certainly isn't a strength for him. Such an awesome moment. Jason is acting like he just found a free Chipotle for life card. But who cares? It's a happy day. Everyone's jumping around. The only thing that's missing is a bouncy house. Man, do I love this. Coach Hugh can't help but smile. It's a rare thing for him ever since he found out Santa isn't real. Ooh, group of five showdown. This is exciting. Oh, god awful start. We're getting shafted. Not good. Bennett is calling for it. Just hand it off to him. And yep, he glides in there to get us on the board. Down 13. Haven't been able to climb back. A pick six here. Something like that would be helpful to the cats. They hand it off. He has the edge. Oh boy. Where's the reinforcements? Yeah, he's in the clear. Where's Katniss Everdeen when you need her? Or maybe a sniper? Yeah, so much for that. The team is ashamed of their performance as they should be. Just a pitiful display. Good for you, Jair Stud Muffin. Have fun of the NFL. Some other kids graduating as well. Be proud of the season we just had, even though it ended with us getting sent to the gulag. What a haul for Coach Hugo. 22 new lads coming in. We cannot wait to have them here, man. It just never ends. So many studs coming to Wichita. Noah Murray Jr. Talk about a slept on kid. An 87 overall three star. It's so angelic. Also a 6'5 safety, Cam Gilbert. He's a tall drink of water. Very happy to have him on board. Another improvement this year for us. We'll need it moving up to the Big 12, but Coach said these kids train with David Goggins. They're ready. Jason is back for his senior year. Everyone looks up to him like an old wise elder. On the defensive side, our transfer buddy Ty and Clark spearheads the defense. Not the heaviest guy. Just imagine a pit bull with rabies. That's Ty and. Three and one start. Not bad. We'll not complain unless we lost to an FCS school. That's a relief. Our one loss was to Iowa where they somehow scored 41 on us. Coach Hover needs to have a nice long meeting with her DC stat. Here it is. Our first Big 12 Cavs game against Houston. Hopefully today they have a problem. Oh, yep. Squeezed out a six point win over the Cougars. Great job, gang. The team's galloping off the field like horses that just spotted some yummy hay. These days are always so awesome. At seven guys commit after our first win in the Big 12. Easily the best decisions of your lives. Well, not exactly what we were hoping for. Sitting at 7-4. and four. Looks like we went 3-3 three and three after our win over the Cougars, so yeah. Yuck. Somehow Baylor is 11-0. We have the opportunity to spoil their season on the road. Let's make it happen. Low scoring affair so far. We're still looking for our first touchdown. Jason gets out of the right. Look at downfield and finds a man. Anton Shelton stuck behind the defense. We hit him in stride. Man, he's slow, but fast enough to score us a touchdown. Love it. End or lead before half. If we can make this. Oh, yes, we can. Love it how this is going. They don't know what's going on. We're up 20. Good things are happening. This is great. Jason sits patiently in the pocket. Oh, baby, this time Quinn sneaks behind the defense like a ninja. Must have taken some karate classes. Great job, everyone. Everyone's shown our old and wise Jason love after the win. Just such an awesome day. Cheez-Its are indeed yummy, although goldfish is better. Either way, we can net wait. Yucky, down 13 late in the fourth. Not exactly a good spot to be in. Jason is pissed off. He lays a pass to Max Corner, he uses his wheels, and sprints into the end zone to give us a chance. Come on, Tanner recycles. Well, Karma didn't care. That's depressing. Their mask is being treated like Macklemore. Makes me sick to my stomach losing another bowl game. Well, Steven will miss you, especially because of your last name. I'm more of a Peter Parker guy myself, but who wouldn't like a superhero on their team? Saying goodbye to a lot of studs that have helped stop our losing ways. Wish you all the best. Do the world a favor and event time travel. I want to save Abe Lincoln. Had the ability to go up to four and five stars this year, but Coach Hugo only dabbled into it. It's foreign territory after all. Per usual, though, an awesome haul with LJ Hunt, a four star out of Texas. He's a great pickup. And also a five star out of Texas, Braylon Hankins, six five wide receiver. That's terrifying. Top 25 class for us. Feel very confident we'll continue to rise. Great team. We just continue to get better. This team has got some serious talent everywhere. I love the balance. Another tall boy, Cole Laporta. He's a statue in the pocket. That isn't ideal, but he's been waiting his turn to start. He should be good for us. Mother of God, a 6'7 receiver. I don't know what these parents' secrets are, but they need to do Tanner a favor and share them ASAP as possible. I took Flintstone gummies as a kid. This must be a scam. Woo! I like this. Undefeated and ranked fifth in the nation. Must be all the Yao Mings we have on our team. I mean, some impressive wins, some close wins as well. But I mean, this team has a swagger about them. They all wear backwards hats and drive 20 over the speed limit. I won't bother. It seems to be working. The recruits seem to love how we're playing. We already have eight kids coming into the class. They're all big fans of laser tag. They'll fit right in here. Home game for us, playing Mountain Mom, and of course, kids are visiting. Coach Huffer's a madman on the trail. Great start for us, up 13, and we're at the goal line. Cannot complain. The draft boy keeps it. Man, he's slow. Goodness gracious. Well, the draft boy won't be stopped. He fights in there for a touchdown. Really stout performance now, especially the defense. They've been dominant. Draft boy stands in the pocket and finds a man on the right side. That was weird. Braylon runs around and breaks the tackle. Oh, yeah, there's our true freshman five star making plays. Love to see it. Slam on the door shot on this one. Add another three points to the blowout. There he is. Cole Laporta, giraffe boy. He played great. He's been awesome in his first year as a starter. Man, we lost. 
the end of the season 11 and 1. Well, I lost to UCF, so he didn't win our division. Hopefully, he'll sneak into the playoff. Yeah, stink. You snuck it at the fourth seed, playing Dabo in the first round. Let's get a dub. No one scored yet. We're hoping to change that here, though. Cool drops back looking and finding our five star freshman, Braylon Hank. It's over the middle. Touchdown, Shackers. Playing awesome. Got a 10 point lead with less than a minute left. Please don't choke. Their quarterback is dancing around back there. We can't bring him down. He slings it deep downfield. Come on, Will. Nice job, defense. Have no fear. Do not be afraid. It's just a football. They kick it right or a 6 7 receiver, and he catches it. Great job, Quentin. Thank you, soldier. The fans are having a blast. Wichita's going to be on fire tonight, baby. Of course, Georgia clobbered Oregon. Time for us to slay the dragon. Well, we do have a lead. Hopefully, we can make them settle for three here. That'd be nice. They have forever to throw in the pocket. Just no pass rush whatsoever. They step up and throw. Well, you got it. That's unfortunate. Only down four. We're still in it. This field goal will go a long way for us, and it's going to go through. That was very much needed. Yeah, don't like this at all. They're in field goal range, and we're only up two. Not ideal. They hand it off and find a hole and run out. Yeah, there's no defense. At least we got a shot with the ball. Only one second left, Giraffe Boy. We have a six, five, and six, seven receiver. This is where we need them to shine. Cole throws deep in the air. It's going to get to the end, so come on, testicles. They picked it off. Cole is living on the sideline. He's a pissed off giraffe. As we watch the national title celebration, today's a sad day. Come on, Willie. 81 overall freshman is transferring. That adds to the sadness. Dave Lee commits four very important kids to come back and not enter the NFL draft. They have unfinished business. Good for you guys. Five kids are going to get drafted into the NFL. Go make us proud. We'll miss you all. Had five kids graduate as well. Go be great. Another good haul for Coach Hugo. He loves watching film and finding gems, and boy, are there plenty of them in this cycle for us. Jamie McBride is a four-star stud. Another kid from Texas. Great pickup there. And five-star Cameron with an A from Louisiana. He looks like a dude. Top 20 class. Our foundation is mostly three-star kids, and we razzle-dazzle some four- and five-star kids in there as well. Just a yoked roster, top to bottom. Absolutely love what we have here. Just studs left and right. It's like walking into Cinnabon. Everything looks heavenly, and you feel like you're on a cloud. Got the draft boy back at quarterback. He decided to come back. He wants to win a natty. Can't forget about the defense. We got an awesome safety duo with Tommy Felt. Maybe the T is silent. Also, JT Johnson. He's very fast. Beautiful boy. 7-0 start. Exactly what we expected. Every game's been a blow. We're on a mission right now. I love the team's focus. We've even learned Chinese to intimidate the opponents. Recruiting just continues to be elite. We're getting who we want. Already got 10 kids in the class. Probably helps. You just installed an indoor water park. Easily the best idea since whoever created Spotify. Got the purple frogs at home. Let's keep dominating. First off, it's of driving. We're at the goal line. We hand off to Derek. Yeah, great blocking up front. That's a touchdown. Get us on the board first. Great job. Team's playing great. I saw someone selling cupcakes. This is coming together nicely. The same exact run for Derek. The same exact outcome. Just no resistance. This baby's over. The team's running off the field. Loving life after the win. Everyone's going to coach's bunker at his ping pong. Love it, guys. This was the expectation. We lived up to it. Excellent job. I mean, just continue the trend of handing out spankings to every team that's in our way. We're like the rock in literally every movie he's in. Big 12 title game. There's a lot of excitement in the air. Just need to go out there and take care of business. Mount Mom is giving us a battle up three, but we're at the goal line feeling a touchdown. We have to Derek. He has a gaming hole to run through. He just guides through it like Lewis and Clark into the end zone. Good job, everyone. Yep, up 10 late in the game. Kick it up field goal to put a stamp on this one. It's going through to give us our Big 12 title. Coach Hugo's talking Chinese at midfield. Their coach has no idea what he's saying. Sadly, neither do I. It's so beautiful. Hoist up the Big 12 trophy. It's a happy day, but the job is far from finished. Secure the two seed, and we're playing Michigan one game at a time. At the goal line, the draft boy loves the look he sees on their defense. He ends off to Derek. He runs behind a pancake from a lineman. That was awesome. I <laughs> love that. Tight game, but a field goal here does give us a lead before half. And yes, success. We have our three point lead at halftime. The Wolverines won't go away. They make a field goal themselves to tie it up. Now it's time for the draft boy to shine. Perfect. Easy chip shot field goal. It's not even ice. We kick it up, and oh yeah, it's good. Let's go. The team is celebrating. So much joy everywhere. Who doesn't love confetti? So pretty. Here we go. Hoisted up some more hardware, but we have the most important piece left. Goodness. Georgia has no regard for human life. They obliterated Ohio State. It's time for revenge. Tied early, but we're down at the goal line. Hand it off to Derek, and yeah, we've seen this a million times. Easy touchdown for the kid. So no one's surprised. It's been a war. A touchdown here would be big time for us, though. Draft boy sits in the pocket and rides it over the middle to Corey Pincotti. Awesome name and a big time touchdown for us. High intensity situation here. Come on, defense. They hand it off. We run past the running back. Yeah, no one's there. That was a negative IQ play. Nice job, guys. It's over time. Come on, defense. Time to make a play. They run a weird draw thing. Either running back cuts out to the left, and we smack the ball, ball, ball. Pick it up. Come on, Broadfield. Get on your high horse. Picture Cameron Diaz in the end zone. Yeah, it didn't work. He got caught. Dang it, dude. All right, we cannot choke this. Do not ever think. Just give it to Derek. And yes, there it is. Touchdown, Shackers. Giraffe boy played great. He was going to be denied his natty. Everyone's speaking Chinese. No one knows what's going on. All that matters is that we finally captured our natty. It's so beautiful. Was a fun climb to the top for Coach Hugo. Maybe now he'll teach me how to speak Chinese. If you want to watch an entire world of glory in one video, Click the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.